What's up, guys? The winner of this week's trivia is Smokeify. He knew the name of that classic Wiz freestyle named ATL Freestyle. Not a lot of people know that the beat is actually produced by Rico Wade, whose future's cousin, producer for Outkast, and one-third of Atlanta rap group Organize Noise. Now back to the video. In hip-hop, there's a certain hierarchy of notability. For my marketing people, you'll recognize the term Q-score. A Q-score basically tells you how well-known someone is, and in hip-hop, the list goes rapper, producer, DJ, manager, hype man, booking agent, and somewhere down the list is the engineer, the guy or girl who's responsible for making sure an artist's recording sessions go smoothly and that the final product is properly mixed for your listening pleasure. Even beyond these traditional duties, it goes as far as overlapping with the role of A&R, consultant, and just friend to everyone in the studio. So it's fascinating to see Alex Toume take a role that is largely ignored by fans and create a passionate following and a lot of attention to an equally important role in music creation. Alex Toume was originally born in Queens, but spent most of his childhood in Florida. Despite not sharing tons of his childhood past with the public, Alex mentioned one moment as a kid that shaped his career path. He explained, I joined a couple of bands in my hometown, and one day when we were just hanging out, a dude pulled up Logic. I just started messing with it, but I had no idea what I was doing. I couldn't figure it out at all. So I was like, maybe I should just go to school for this? He was at Full Sail University literally a week later. After spending time at Full Sail learning the industry best practices in engineering, Tume found himself knocking on studio doors, looking for an internship and a place to hone his skills, until May's studio in Atlanta took him under the wing of Grammy-winning punk producer Ben Allen. After three years at May's, Alex left for another audio technician internship at DARP Studios in Atlanta. It was a DARP that he met and worked with names like T.I., Rich Homie Kwan, and eventually Metro Boomin, who was a catalyst for his career. I should mention that all this exposition is really leading up to what Alex is best known for, and that is his role as sole engineer for Young Thug. Not only is it a career-changing moment for an engineer to attach himself to a major artist, but for him to be attached to Young Thug means handling the music made by one of the most eccentric and demanding artists in hip-hop. The way that Alex linked up with Thug is a great story in itself. He basically explains that Thug and Metro had been at DARP Studios, and Young Thug had literally kicked out nine different engineers because they couldn't keep up with him. Apparently when Young Thug records, he wants to be able to record at a moment's notice, and by the time he walks out of the booth, he wants it essentially mixed enough to listen to, and no one could keep up. So Metro asked Alex to please just give it a try. After five sessions and not saying a word to each other, Thug and Tumay clicked on a creative level and the rest is history. Alex has gone on to work with Young Thug on at least seven of his albums, as well as engineer for Drake, T.I., Kanye, Big Sean, Travis Scott, and Nav and Metro Boomin's collaborative album. And after so much work behind the scenes, Alex has mastered social media with the help of his dog Gordy, who's been credited on three platinum singles of his own. His devoted Twitter following hangs on his every word, and a devoted fan base of budding audio engineers take in his knowledge every day. To help spread his knowledge and make sure that the art of mixing is no longer a behind the scenes activity, Alex started his own lecture series and travels talking about the business and technical side of what he does, often holding live mixing sessions in studio. Before I wrap up the video, I wanna leave you guys with what I think are two of his best stories. I, I don't believe in one backup. I don't believe in two, I believe in three. Like, the artist should have one, and you should have two. And, like, honestly, Skyfall wouldn't have existed without me doing that. Because Travis was, like, super protective of his files because, like, Kanye had just had a situation where, like, he had a leak from somebody stealing something. And, Ka and Travis was, like, first day working there, he's like, do not save anything on your drive. I was like, all right. <laughs> so that's it. And, like, I just, I, I knew the risk I was taking, which is if something comes out and it's from me, like, that's the end of my career. But I also knew that, like, we can't have one version of this. Like, this song is too good. We've, what if we lose it? And he went to, like, a restaurant, and, like, somebody went to his car and grabbed his backpack when he was in the restaurant. And he hit me up. He's like, do you have <laughs> the files? And I thought it was a test. And I was like, no, nah, dog, I don't got no files. <laughs> like, no. Nah. He's like, no, no. Somebody went into my car and jacked my bag because they thought it was, in like, it was like a nice Louis bag or something. And like, they saw it through the window in valet. And the valet probably left the car unlocked and like snatched it right up. 
and it took they took huge strides. And he, I was like, oh yeah, I have it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have it. He's like, yeah, can you send it? I was like, yeah, definitely. And like that's when he like went in and like redid all the vocals and like finished the song. He doesn't. He walks in and he raps and that's it. And you better be ready because he's his sense of timing is so in, like. Sometimes he wants to start before the song starts. So he'll be like, all right, just pick an arbitrary point before the song. He hears it once. He's like, all right, start it again from that point. Hits record. And it's like 100% on beat with no click, no lead in. Like, it's just an arbitrary, like, I don't know, 16.387 seconds. Like, literally, he's like, just pick up random time. I'm like, no, I'll put it on the green. He's like, I don't care. So I just move it and like raps and it's constantly on beat. Constantly, like, if any time you hear him rap, like, before the beat starts on a song where it's like him talking first, that's him. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, then subscribe to the channel to see more and comment below. Let's talk about Alex, Young Thug, or hip hop in general.